Hello Pisces, welcome to the Spiritual Centre. I'm Sonia Parker and here is your Pisces March 2021 tarot reading. Um, I've been inspired to do three oracle cards to give you universal and spiritual messages, a tarot reading and then a love message at the end as well. So please keep watching. Okay, so let's get straight into your reading, Pisces. What does the universe want you to know for the month of March? Which could well be your birthday as well. And the work card that we have is sexual freedom. We have the beautiful lotus flower there in pink. Okay. The unicorn deck from Diana Cooper. We're looking for a spiritual message for Pisces for March. And we have Archangel Raphael. Healing and abundance are coming to you. And I also feel that this could you could be the healer with this situation as well. So the universe are giving you healing. It's almost as though they're encouraging you to heal others as well. Okay. Uh, some more guidance for Pisces for the month of March. And we have Father Healing. Do you know what? When I, I do these readings, they always mesmerise me how the cards always fit together. Your personal power increases as you give father related issues to heaven so that's with regards to your parents as well so there is a family healing here um i feel it could be you as a father figure as well but there's healing for you coming from all areas from spirit this month all areas of spirit are sending you healing in some way or another. Now, Archangel Raphael works from the east, and the east is new beginnings. And we have the sunrise in this picture, so it's almost as though it's bringing in new beginnings. I know in the UK we're having spring, and we're going into an easing of all the lockdown issues. There's new beginnings starting for everybody. So I feel this is a real big thing for you. The recent past for you is the star, the present, the Pisces for March is the magician, two major arcana, and your future is the hanged man. Three major arcana. So there's lots of things going on in your life. So I feel that with the star at the recent past, you've you focused. You've it's almost as though you've made a decision, you stuck to that decision, and you've made it happen. There's something around you that you've put into place that you've made happen. Um, and I feel that's related to you putting yourself first. It's it's now your time to put yourself first and do what you need to do. You are the magician. You are the master healer. You have all the tools on the table. And I feel that this is what's going to make it happen. I do feel that your hands are tied slightly by circumstance. But I do feel with the hanged man, it's about looking at within. And acknowledging your own spiritual self. And I do feel that there is spiritual development for you over the coming months. Okay. So the next card is what it is that you need to do or think about in the month of March. Oh, we have two cards. We have the Ten of Wands and we have the Three. So I feel here it's really important that you don't take on too much. You need to streamline what it is that you're doing, especially on a spiritual level. Um, cut down on stuff and... Don't burden yourself with things that you don't need to burden yourself with. This is a member about putting you first. So what obstacles might be in your way? And we, again, we've got a couple of cards that have seem to have popped out. Actually, there's four. So the three of cups, the two of wands, 
the Six of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So I think that you could be your own worst enemy because actually you've got everything. You've got everything you need. Um, it's no good looking back wishing things could be different or wishing things could be different how they are right here, right now. This is your chance. This is your opportunity to make it happen. You have everything. It's almost as though it's your legacy. Okay, so let's have a look at the final outcome for you, Pisces. Oh, and it's fallen out, the five. Everything's up in the air. So I still feel that you don't feel settled. You're not settled. So what can we do for that? What can help you to settle this month? So healing is going to help. And also the Queen of Wands. So there's a fiery female sign there that can help you. That's going to bring about this magic. We've got the magic of the black cat. So this is a person that will almost ground you or help you on your quest to achieving what you need to achieve in life. I'm going to have one more card for your outcome as well from the tarot. Outcome for Pisces for March. What can they expect at the end of the month? There we go. Freedom. <laughs> Freedom. The fool. On his journey. No baggage. No physical. Nothing physical. The importance of who you are. Your life purpose. Why you're here. Um, we've got here sexual freedom. But I feel this is freedom of your whole person. You have entered a, a phase in life, a transitional phase that has brought you to a place where by the end of March, you will have total freedom. OK, so the last card is from the Whispers of Love deck. With regards to relationships and love, what is the message for Pisces for March? And we have... Turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experience love. Turn on your heart light and embrace it. Embrace the love that's around you. Embrace the love that's coming to you. And most of all, embrace spirit's love. Um, it, embrace that healing energy that's coming for you from Archangel Raphael. Bask in it. New beginnings are on the horizon. New beginnings are going to unfold to give you the freedom that you've been seeking. Bless you, Pisces. I hope you have a lovely March. If this resonated with you, let me know in the comments. Please like and share and please subscribe to my channel. Please also pop over to my website, thespiritualcenter.net. I do give away a free personal reading every month for those who subscribe to my monthly newsletter be lovely to have you on board so please pop over bless you all speak to you all soon have a lovely march